you know those videos where they talk about machining things uh, down to very very tight tolerances <laughs> it's not that show Got a couple of things going on here. One is I'm still working on refining this edge as it contains this. Um, it's a little tight in a couple of areas and I don't necessarily want that to be that tight um, because I know strange things are going to happen when we start putting glue in there. Um, so it's just a continual rework and I've actually got it marked here where my areas are that are kind of giving me problems. Now part of this is because um, there is this curve on the top of this, this radius. Um, so I'm having to kind of account for pushing that down into um, that position. So that is what uh, I'm doing at the moment. And what I've done to get in here is I've just taken I've just taken a piece of foam core um, and uh, some sandpaper, and I've sprayed uh, what is it? It's Super 77 3M spray adhesive. I've just sprayed it on the back of the sandpaper and then I can cut these little strips out. And these little strips um, are very easy to just kind of lay in that channel and either sand up um, against that binding or to flip it and then sand down here into this corner. Um, on the kerfing strip so I can get it to kind of sit the way uh, the way that I best know how. So that's what we're doing uh, in the meantime and of course it's about to kill me because um, I just got a new book in the mail and I want to sit down and I want to read all uh, 500 pages of this book. Acoustic Guitar Making by Brian Forbes um, lots of pictures, lots of uh, explanations, what looks to be painfully precise explanations. <laughs> we know how I like painfully precise. Um, there's also a lot of ways um, to make templates and jigs, although I think that the proper term on that is fixture, but nobody cares about that. Um, uh, making your own cam clamps, uh, making your own kind of funky C, uh, called a lap strake clamp. Mm. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is super cool stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm torn. I'm torn between two masters today because I, uh, I really just want to sit down by a crackling fire with a with a with a warm beverage, petting my dog. Okay, I don't have a fireplace and I don't have a dog. I make a damn good cup of coffee, um, but I want to get this. I want to get this going. Because what we're, if nothing else today, we're going to make a dry run. A, clamp, a dry clamping run to see how this all uh, fits together. Um, because it's just going to be like, I don't know, it's going to be like herding cats when I start throwing glue on this. So, sanding, again, surprise, surprise.
All right, <clears throat> test fitting. It's close. From about here to right about here, I still need to pull this ledge down that this sits on. Um, I've got the, the tension on it so that it will pull it down flat. And it's not that it is not pulled down tight, it's that there's still just a little tiny bit of a lip right there. I've got a couple of gaps um, from just, I don't know, poor routing technique and not knowing what the hell I'm doing. There's one right here. And yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do there. May end up just filling it with super glue and then overlaying that with uh, with some sawdust from some of the offcuts of this so that it, at least color wise it'll blend in. There's a couple of areas like that but that's um, kind of minor. So the plan is to is to get this fit better than what it is um, and then I'll probably gonna I'm probably gonna make a couple of dry runs and try to time it and see how long it's going to take me to do this. One thing I got to do, I've got to spread these down just a little bit further because you can see I'm kind of thin down on this end. And there's a lot of tension on this end. Um, so, um, yeah, we're going to work on that. But, uh, yeah, we're gluing it today. All right, time for panic mode. Um, yeah, here we go. Just kind of tighten everything up. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah, wasn't that exciting, Reptar? Where the tail block is, I've got a, a call, I guess you would say it, 
could try to spread the pressure out over the heel block. Same thing up here on the neck block and where the fingerboard extension is going to go. Um, I just made this little deal to put the pressure down on here. All right, mild panic in action. There you go. We'll take a look tomorrow. All right, it's time to unclamp uh, the Lazarus. I see some issues um, that we may run into. The first is that um, we're probably going to have some glue sticking to the uh, cork on some of these. Um, this is not the way you normally glue a top onto a guitar um, because this is a, a unique kind of repair job. Not the way that I would do it again, mind you, because we learn. Um, but nonetheless, it's the way we did it. It's exciting. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, I guess maybe the first good point is that we didn't hear all kinds of snapping and cracking and popping when we took the uh, when we took the tension off. sanding there and that will be coming right off. Now as I mentioned before, there will be some gaps because and you should probably should probably have this as like a little banner running down across the bottom of the video screen. For a lot of this stuff, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, we will be filling some stuff in there, and that's okay. See, the nice thing about having that cork on there is that it is pretty friable and easily it's the cork is what's pulling off and it's not like pulling off the top of my spruce oh I like these kind of falling off here well looky there guitar with a top on it. Um, Alright, first things first, we're going to sand this cork and any of this excess glue off of here. And then we're going to start formulating um, the best way to fill this in. Um, at the moment, I'm thinking um, super glue and sawdust. Um, the sawdust will, it'll be sawdust from scrap pieces of this. Um, so we can just fill that, and fill it in and it'll, it'll blend in. It won't look seamless, but it'll at least blend in. Um, oh, you know what? Let me go find my phone 
and we'll see how ugly it is on the inside. Alright, let's see how ugly this is. Alright, well, not bad, I guess. I don't see the great streamers of dripping glue that I was dreading that I would see. All right. Well, there we go. All right, next up. Hit <laughs> the tops on. Cool. Cheers.